Seeking English, SAT Workbook, page 327, problem 2. Uh, this is simply uh, solving for x. This is not a complicated problem, but it is, is, worth, it is worth explaining. Because if you, if you miss something that's in the problem, you're going to miss it in some other problems, and that's going to cost you a lot. Uh, what you see here are these expressions where you have this fraction multiplied by something. This is, this is not helpful. Okay, I, I know that you know how to multiply the thing through, so just do that. First step is there, multiply that, get rid of these, these brackets, okay? 9 over 4, okay? There. It's much better to deal with it that way. Now, uh, you're solving for this x, and you have these two fractions, one, one on each side of the equation, and as always, what you want is you want the x by itself, you want everything else on the other side. This is how I do that. There, subtract it from there. You need this. You need a common denominator here, which seven is a prime number. Four is not a prime number, but it's an exponent of two. It doesn't combine particularly easily with seven. The lowest common denominator you're going to get is uh, is 28. So that becomes 64 over 28, and that was 63 over 28. And before you even reduce it, you can already see 63, 64 minus 63 is 1 over 28. Okay, 1 over 28 equals x. Uh, fast, simple problem, but it is it is worth uh, it is worth doing um, because, like I said, if anything goes wrong in this problem, something is going to go wrong in a very large number of problems. Making sure that you get this one right uh, is is important. Okay, and the the what you think are the easy problems on the test, if you are negligent with them. They can cost you just as many points as the more complicated problems. Focusing only on the more complicated problems is not a good strategy. You need to make sure that every problem, uh, you take it seriously because every problem counts.